Two people are now facing charges in the ongoing corruption probe into Detroit's $250 million demolition program. The indictments allege the two men pocketed thousands of dollars to steer jobs to contractors willing and able to bribe. We go to Mara McDonald live downtown tonight. Mara, both those men expected in federal court tomorrow. That's what we're expecting, Devin, and here are those recently unsealed federal charging documents on both of these men. And to give you an idea what we're talking about here, one of these guys is accused of taking bribes 71 different times. Let's get to it. The feds releasing the details against Anthony DeGuano and Arredondo Haskins. Let's start with DeGuano, the 61 year old from New Baltimore who worked for contractor Adamo Group, is accused of pocketing $372,000 in bribes. According to the feds, he got the cash for helping another contractor get those Detroit demolition jobs. Up next, Arredondo Haskins, who also worked for Adamo until he left to work for the city of Detroit's building authority. He's accused of providing confidential information to other contractors to help them undercut their competitors. The feds say Haskins got more than $25,000 in bribes. Detroit has received more than $250 million in federal monies to assist in bringing down blighted structures, but questions about where the money was going, the bidding process, and the actual demolition itself have been swirling for years. That there has been a federal probe into all of this, that's no secret. But these two charging documents are the first glimpse we've seen into what the feds know. Back here live, we are expecting both of these men in federal court tomorrow, and it's going to be very interesting to see whether we've got a plea deal coming, which is what I think the expectation is. Devin, Sandra, we're live downtown tonight. Back to you. Well, Mark, we got any indication, though, is whether this might be it as far as charges go. I think the indication is that this is just the beginning. Yeah. I think it would be shocking if after all these years that the feds have been looking at it, that this is it. So I think we're looking at the beginning. Back to you.